Garen O'Day is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. Garen. Leading off the inning, it'll be Alex Verdugo. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. First offering. Hey. O'Day. Still playing here at age 38. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Matty, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to the big leagues is so hard. Guys just want, they just want to spend a month, a day in the big leagues. So to put yourself here for 12 years screams to your ability to adjust and be a great teammate. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. Swing and a liner. And another base hit for him. Now three for three in this one. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Stepping in now, Hunter Renfro as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And through into left field. Back to back hits have him set up to start the seventh. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. And now, Christian Vasquez. And then, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. He's set and the pitch. He swings and grounds it to short. He's right there. He's Torres at the bag. Oh. To Voight in time for the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Into the box now, Jose Iglesias. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Soft liner to the right side. He'll get to this one deep in the yeah. hole. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Red Sox leave one. Still down 3 nothing. Matt Barnes gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 32, Matt Barnes. Now at the plate, here is Gary Sanchez. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's only two for ten. He's taken him deep once. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Set and the 0 1 is strike two swinging. Oh, two. Oh, 
Ball one. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. One ball, two strikes. That's down. a stone cold take right there. Easily could have been rung up instead. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. To the plate now, Gio Urshela, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And the pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, DJ LeMahieu. He bounced out last time up. First pitch on the way. Hey, find a way right here. Oh, Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit, we got ourselves one some action. One. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Racing back the left fielder. Still going back, and that ball will stay fair, and it's gone, a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Yeah, you can see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh getting the first two outs, but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. Standing in now, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at ball one. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's one for three. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The one one. I got two one to count. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Aaron Judge would be next. Mm, gets him to swing and miss at the knuckle curve, and it's full now, three and two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Now it'll be Aaron Judge grounded out in his last at-bat.
He's set. Here it comes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Something's clearly out of sorts with his delivery right now. Just walked the guy, and that pitch wasn't even within sniffing distance of the zone. Really fighting himself right now. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power on power. My money's on the pitcher. Swung on and missed. One and two now. One and two. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Still a ball and two strikes. Here's another one, two. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now a 4 nothing New York lead. Blake Holmes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 35. Play. Hold. Ready to begin the eighth. And here comes the first baseman, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And now pitch on the way. Hey. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Oh. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here's the one and one delivery. Count is two and one. Two balls and two strikes now. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Now to the plate, here is Kike Hernandez. Popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus, the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. That's a ball. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Schwarber aboard here at first with nobody out. A swing and a ground ball to third. One there. And a good save at first on the offline throw, but they just get one. Well, he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there, and he threw it away. They got to force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Fouled straight back. He's one for two in this one.
from the stretch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. At the plate, Rafael Devers, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0. Popped him up. LeMahieu is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. One left for the Red Sox. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Hirokazu Sawamura is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch on its way. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when no, balls are down. just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. Here he comes on 2-0. Ball that jump side. Joey Gallo is on deck. Three-o pitch, and this nope, is taken ball here ball. for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Next, here is Joey Gallo. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. From the stretch, down the left field line and deep. And foul. Sawamura, a 32-year-old veteran. This is his first year at the big league level. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. The 0-2 pitch is a called strike three on the corner. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. So now to the plate, Aaron Hicks, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 home yeah. is a heater in there for a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Didn't Count threaten the zone one. there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. 
And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Stepping in once again is Glaber Torres. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Schwarber is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Stepping in next, Gary Sanchez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Now the first pitch. Hey. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. That misses wide. Ball one. one ball and one strike. That's no bolted. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Fastball well one. outside. Three, one strike. three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And the count will be full. Good battle. Count remains full. The next 3-2. Fouled away. Another payoff pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Josh Taylor answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Gio Urshela will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Ball, In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Stanton on third. Hicks on second. Sanchez at first. Two out in the inning. And he watches one miss plate. outside. Two. 2 0 now. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count. Not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. As a look, now the pitch. Hit on a line, and this one's into center field. That's a base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 nothing now. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there, Hero. I know everybody wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there. You remember these knocks. In now, D.J. LeMayhew. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Oh, and one count, and the pitch. Lifted in the air out to left. 
Verdugo will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So two runs on just one base hit, no errors, and a couple of men left. We're on to the ninth here in game one. It's the Yankees six and the Red Sox nothing. Number 63 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Striding forward now is the DH, J.D. Martinez. He went down on strikes last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, this has been really frustrating. They're piling up the base hits, but they can't seem to get that one big knock to drive some runs in. Yeah, and this can get frustrating for a team. Doesn't matter what your batting average is. The bottom line is W's and L's, and they got to find a way to get some runs. Into the box now, Alex Verdugo. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Three hits in three trips to the plate for him so far. Count even now at one and one. A runner at first with no outs here. It's one and two. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Here comes the one-two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Well, they've been struggling at the dish all game long. So stringing two hits back to back, one of them for extras, is a sign that they've got some life in them. We'll see if they can cash in here. Riding in for Boston, Hunter Renfro. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Now here's the first offering. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. I'm set with the 0-1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. A pause, and the 0-2 fouled off. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. And a defensive swing there. That pitch hit him, I believe. But it won't matter as it'll go into the books as a strikeout for route number one. Digging in will be Christian Vasquez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hey. 
Here's the 0-1 pitch. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back days with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. They get the run there, but this late in the game with the lead in hand, you'll definitely trade an out for a run. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Chad Green gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Chad Green. Jose Iglesias will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. He's set and the pitch. Lined hard deep into left. Gallo is there to make the catch and with that the ball game is over. Hey one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Tonight's comes to a conclusion, 6-1 to one the final. The New York Yankees jump out to a 1-0 series lead. Garrett Cole takes home the win. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.